Hi, I'm Mark. And I'm Christine. And this is the Shoot'em Up tutorial part 5. This tutorial will show you how to make the enemies shoot bullets at the player so you have fun stuff to dodge. As always, we'll start by showing you what the game will look like when you're finished with this tutorial. Okay, I see enemies firing bullets at me. And if you get hit by a bullet, you have to restart the level. Okay, we've shown you what the game will look like so we can unbolt that. Let's open the file that we left off with at the last tutorial. Like everything else we make, let's start by creating a sprite for the bullet. Right click on Sprite, choose Create Sprite. Sticking to our previous naming conventions, we will call it SPR underscore Bullet Enemy. Why Bullet Enemy? The first word describes what it is, a bullet, and the next word describes what type of bullet, one that an enemy shoots. This way it appears right next to the player's bullet on the list of sprites. Let's find the picture of the bullet and choose it. It's a smaller version of the player's bullet. Make sure the precise collision checking box is checked and click OK. Now we've created the sprite so we can unbold that on our checklist. Next we create the object. Right click on objects and choose create object. Name it obj underscore bullet enemy. Make it look like the sprite we just created. Okay, we've created the object and linked it to the sprite so we can unbold that. And I think we want the enemy bullet to do the same thing as the player's bullet? Right, except we want it to move down instead of up. And we want it to start moving right away. So click Add Event, choose Create, drag the red arrow icon under the Move section into the Actions. Click on the down arrow and set it to a speed of 12. That's faster than the player's plane. You can change the speed of the bullet so to be really fast so it's hard to dodge, or slower so that your game is easier. The choice is up to you. So now that we've given the bullet a speed, we can unbolt the initial velocity task. Next, we want the player to lose when he, hits, he gets hit by a bullet. So let's add a collision event and make the collision object the player's plane. If this happens, the player has to restart the level. Under the Main 1 tab, you can drag the Restart Room icon and choose a transition effect. Make a cool effect so that the player can think about how he messed up. So we made the enemy bullet defeat the player, and we can unbolt that part. Next, we want to delete this bullet when it goes outside the view. Click on Add Event, go to Other, Views, and Outside View 0. What does Outside View 0 mean? It means that the bullet is not on the screen that the player sees. Remember a few tutorials ago, we created a view that moved with the player so that the entire tall level could be played through. When the bullet is no longer seen by the player, it doesn't matter anymore and should be deleted. So let's delete the bullet by dragging the recycle icon, bin icon. The bullet will be deleted outside the view, so we can unbold that. Now we have to figure out where the bullets will show up on the screen. Okay, let's have the enemy bullets be shot from the enemy planes. Click on the enemy object and let's set it to shoot at random. How is the plane going to decide where it's going to shoot? Uh, there's a lot of ways to do it, but let's have it decide at every step if it will shoot. Click Add Event, Step, Step, and there's an icon for random chance. It's the dice picture in the control tab. So it's like rolling a dice and seeing what number it lands on? Right, and it will only shoot if it lands on the number one. A regular dice has six sides, but we can make this dice have as many sides as we want. I will choose 45 sides. This means that every step there is a 1 in 45 chance that the enemy plane will, be, will shoot a bullet. Higher numbers means the enemy shoots less bullets, and lower number of sides means the enemy shoots more often. Now if the dice roll does land on the right number, we want the enemy to then shoot a bullet. Go to the main one tab and drag the light bulb icon. This lets us create an object. Choose the bullet enemy object for object type, and we can choose where on the screen we want to create this bullet. We should create it in the middle of the enemy plane, so that it looks like it's being shot from there, right? Right. The middle of the plane is coordinates 8 and 8, and make sure you check the relative box. How does the bullet move down, then? Remember we set the bullet to move down with a speed of 12 when it's created, and in this event, we are creating a new bullet, so it will move down automatically. We've shown how to shoot the bullet based on random chance, and we can unbolt that part. Now let's play the game and make sure it works.
I see enemy bullets. Watch out. Oh, I got hit, so I have to restart the game. Now the game is a lot more fun to play with this new challenge. Remember to save your work and ask your teachers if you have any questions.